there are many types of clocks around us clocks usually run in left to right direction and it's called clockwise the opposite of its anti clockwise but have you ever wondered why it's always clockwise what will happen if clocks go anti clockwise will we say that the clock is wrong let's say the clock is numbered from left to right and the hands of the clock go anti clockwise the time would still be correct right then why do all clocks run in one particular direction let's go back in time to find the answer to 14th century when many mechanical clocks were invented nowadays we use smart devices so we measure every second accurately but those days people didn't need this accuracy and they only needed to know how long it took to complete a task so they used sand clock sand clocks are made of two glass bulbs with sand inside them time taken for sand to pass from one bulb to another it is measurement of time sand clock don't have the standard format it can be 1 minute 15 minutes or 1 hour the unit depends on who need it there are no record when sand clock were invented but they have been around 8th century water clock can you believe water clock were in use before 3400 years there are two types of water clocks type 1 shifting of water from one bowl to another was considered the measurement of time type 2 it's called persian clock where a small bowl with a small hole was placed in a bigger container and the time taken for the small bowl to fill and submerge was the measurement of time persian clocks were said to be more accurate than the other water clock there were designated time keepers to measure and maintain time this was set up in tower like structure and every time a bowl submerged in the persian clock method a stone was dropped as a measurement of time so people calculated time by the number of stones dropped and planned their work accordingly some countries used candles to mark time some other countries even used oil lamp to mark time but the only clock that was present throughout many civilization that was sundial our clocks are direct descendants of sundial sundial was calibrated based on the country and place it was being placed but to know the working of sundial we need to know a little geography now tell me does the earth rotate clockwise or anti clockwise okay from the north pole it seems to rotate anti clockwise and from the south pole the earth would seem to rotate clockwise so the direction of shadow changes in northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere the shadow rotate clockwise in northern and anti clockwise in southern hemisphere clock were invented in european countries so the shadow direction become the standard one hence clockwise in india the wheels around konark sun temple in odisha was used as sundial maharaja savai jay singh too had interest in maths astronomy and architecture so he has built five big sun tile structure in different places around india and they are said to be the biggest sun tile in the world so what about the people at equator they had a different instrument to measure time that didn't take into account north or south 
Some clocks in southern hemisphere do run in anti-clockwise direction. Congress clock in Bolivia is numbered in reversed and run anti-clockwise. You can see like this in Tunisia too. I hope now you understand why clock rotates clockwise. Thank you.